Honor made a big comeback to the Philippines late last year, launching the Magic 4 Pro, X9, 8, and X7 all at once. This 2023, it seems they want to keep that momentum going. Last January, Honor launched the X9A, and now they've introduced something a bit more budget friendly the new X7A. I'm Osai, and today, join us as we check out the new Honor X7A along with its specs, design, and how it feels. And more importantly, what we think of this new entry level smartphone. So, let's get things started and roll that opening credits. Let's kick things off with the design. If you have owned or have tried the Honor X7, the size of the X7A is more or less the same. In fact, it's hard to tell the difference between the two phones when you look at them at first glance. The biggest difference, however, can be found at the back, specifically the camera housing. Honor redesigned the quad camera bezel, giving it a new rectangular housing. As a result, one of the camera lenses is now separate along with the flash. They've also added a new lens decal to give the rear some styling. We like this new layout as compared to the one in the X7, but what do you guys think about it? Aside from the new rear camera housing, the rest of the phone remains nearly identical. The X7A does have a good weight to it, and this particular ocean blue color looks really nice. It's also quite slim, making it easy to fit in your pockets. However, the phone does feel a bit plasticky, especially the back cover. It's also not very smudge resistant since I easily leave fingerprints on the back. Still, you have to remember that this is a budget-friendly phone after all. Moving on to the display, the X7A sports a large 6.74-inch IPS screen with a 1600x720 resolution and 90Hz refresh rate. The colors are great out of the box and you do have a bright backlight, meaning it can be used even under really bright sunlight. For a phone in this segment, we didn't really expect it to come with a 90Hz refresh rate, so it's a great feature to have. As a result, this makes the phone more enjoyable to use when watching videos on this large screen, whether it's Netflix, YouTube, or any other streaming services. However, the speaker is uh, average at best, but thankfully there is a 3.5mm audio jack that you can use for better sound quality. The X7A only has a MediaTek Helio G37 processor, but it is enough to run the usual games such as Mobile Legends and Cold Mobile without any issues. More graphic intensive games and you will already feel the lag or frame rate drops. It's also available with 4GB or 6GB RAM depending on the variant you choose. 128GB storage comes standard with this model for both the 4GB and 6GB RAM, but it can be expanded via microSD card slot if you do need more space. This particular model we have has 6GB RAM and also include what's called the Honor RAM Turbo. If you love taking photos, the X7A comes with a quad camera system as we mentioned earlier. Best of all, it's highlighted by a 50 megapixel main lens matched with a 5 megapixel wide, 2 megapixel depth, and 2 megapixel macro lenses. So, whatever situation you're in, the camera's got you covered. If you need to take selfies, there's an 8 megapixel front shooter. The X7A runs on Honor's Magic UI 6.1, which is based on Android 12. This means first time Honor users won't have a hard time playing around with the phone, especially if you're coming from another Android device, since it's more or less the same. But the highlight of the X7A is the battery, which is rated at 6000 mAh. Just imagine, 6,000 mAh on a phone in this segment? Crazy, right? For reference, most phones usually have only 5,000 mAh or less, and that also applies to higher models. This means longer times before you need to recharge the phone. Honor claims the X7A's battery can last up 3 days before recharging. But if you do need to recharge the phone, it only takes a short time to do so. This is made possible thanks to the 22.5W Honor Supercharge function. Imagine 3 hours of video playback after plugging in the phone for only 10 minutes. Less downtime charging, more time on the go. Now that we've covered all the bases, it's time to give our verdict on the Honor X7A. It's a great entry-level smartphone but boasts a nice 50-megapixel camera, long battery life, and a large display. This makes the X7A a strong contender if you're considering it as your kid's first phone. You can also use it for your business or staff to use. Just remember, it does have some limitations given its specs and the price point it's at. Speaking of price, the Honor X7A retails for only 7,990 pesos. This makes the Honor X7A very, very affordable. And it's even cheaper than the Honor X7 released last year, which is priced at 9,990 pesos. So, what do you think of the Honor X7A? Would it be a phone you'll consider buying this 2023? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell icon to be notified of future uploads. Also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and visit yugatech.com to stay updated with the latest tech news and reviews.
Once again, this has been Jose, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.